Coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Let's go, All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you need to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, that body kick was there earlier. Not there on that attempt. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's throwing. He's hurt bad. This guy's throwing early. Oh, big left hook there. Wow. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punches the clinch. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Now to go in this one. I need you to scramble. Scramble. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Wow! That was crazy! Oh, big left! Final seconds in round one! Left hand punch the clinch. Round two winding down. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? Over and over. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous condition. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Just over three minutes to go. 
good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Ground and pound strike there now. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission victory in his career and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward ladies and gentlemen referee dan bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes two seconds of round number two declaring the winner by tap out Hobbs and Bors well what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by